Hey everybody, hey everybody, welcome to Position Recovery. My name is Jeremy Grogan with Position Studios. I'm doing a live video right now and it's really exciting. I'm, I'm uh, really excited about what we have to talk about today. But first, if you're new to the channel, um, in the description box are ways to support the channel, to connect with us. There's, uh, for those of you that have been connected for a while, I'm finding it just more, um, it's easier for me to just do a live video. So at the end of the video or toward the end of the content that I have, I will, if there's anybody in the chats or in the comments, I will, um, I will respond. But during the, the main content, we're just going to use the live stream because it's so much, so much easier. No production work necessary or needed for me to do this. What I want to talk about today, if you saw the headline to the video, we're talking about 12 steps of recovery in 12 months, right? And I, if you guys have been following me, you'll know that I talked uh, last year about how we were going to begin this year going through each month is dedicated to a specific principle that uh, I want to go through. But I, I'm, I'm going to have fun in this video because we're going to talk about the varying lists that exist and the list that I've come up with of 12 spiritual principles or virtues, they may call it, uh, that is surrounding each or uh, underlying or underscoring each step of the recovery um, steps. So let's let's go ahead and let me pull that up. I made it. All right, there we go. Okay, so with for step one, we have, let's just talk about that for a second. Um, step one. Oh, I've got stuff coming up. Step one, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. You can replace alcohol in any of this with your affliction, your craving, or whatever whatever your addiction is. And we admitted that we were powerless over alcohol, that we that our lives had become unmanageable. And the, the spiritual principle that I'm going to use is honesty. So we're in January. We're talking about honesty. And later in other videos that we will do this month, I'll talk specifically in, in greater detail about different things to do with that. But I want you to see these different lists because the um, th this first section right here is the list that I'm going to go through. So my my um, the, the spiritual principles that I'm going to be presenting and the way that I'm going to address this is going to be this list here. But I also wanted to compare um, different lists. So the 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 list that i think is probably the most accurate as far as what bill w would have would have put together would seem to be this list here alcoholics anonymous cleveland you can go to aacle.org for alcoholics anonymous cleveland um, and they will have this list published and available the um, then there's another website and we'll we'll look at these it says Barefoot Bob's List. It's on silkworth.net. You will be you can look up that. And then there's also another list on that same website that's unknown. What I've done is I've highlighted in blue the the lists that where we all agree. And we'll talk about those, uh, those elements and, and what's interesting about the agreements that we have on that versus um, the, the where, where we don't agree, where the lists are not, uh, they're not in agreement. And this last year, this list is a lot different, uh, unknown list. It was just another list that they had shown. Um, so you can see that that's probably the less agreeing list. But in the end, I think having a, a one-word spiritual principle to underscore what we're looking at is really helpful. It's also fun for a good conversation just to talk about how did we come up with these different lists. And then also... Uh, why, why, why is mine a little different in certain areas and, and why am I making, uh, why am I changing the list or why am I coming up with a different, uh, a different spiritual principle than, than maybe Alcoholics Anonymous Cleveland? The, everybody agrees, it seems, uh, on the major list. These are the, the known lists. Well, these are the known lists. <laughs> I've got my, my list over here. Um, that honesty is the virtue for step one that we admitted we were powerless over our addiction uh, and compulsive behaviors that our lives would become manageable. That's the sub-recovery step, the way that I just worded that. And this is literally where it starts. We have to become honest. I The moment that I actually got honest 
then that's when things. Now, what's really interesting is we look over here at surrender. I can understand um, where why they put that there. I don't believe that's step one. I believe um, I believe that surrender is here because you'll see that I have that for three. Uh, but it's interesting to see that that a list had surrender at the beginning, um, and I do think that there's a there is a truth to to surrender, which is why it's in my list. And, and you don't see it in these other lists, which is really interesting there too. Um, what is also cool and a good segue is uh, step two. Everybody seems to agree that hope is, is, is underscoring uh, step two. So let's go ahead and read step two. We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. And, and that is what we that brings us all to the conclusion that hope is the virtue here. And so there are absolutely no no disagreements there. Everyone's come up with with hope. Now we do find in step three, this would be for uh, you know January, February, March, April. I should put the the month uh, you know and actually I can I can just do this right now here. We'll just insert and go January. And boom, whoops. Cool, there we go. I'll, uh, so OCD is gonna come out in me and I'm gonna wanna, boom. All right, so for, um, for March, for month three, for, uh, this, for step three, I've got, I've got surrender here. I think my church community and the leaders at my church have come up with surrender. Um, I, so I think in this respect, I'm borrowing it from them and we'll look at the, we'll look at the step in just a second, but it looks like faith is the primary, um, the primary one that was, was agreed to here in, in some early stages. I will say right now that in my research of the 12 principles and virtues, there doesn't seem to be an actual printed list, um, that we can go to. Somebody had mentioned, uh, I think it was Alcoholics Anonymous Cleveland recognized somewhere. They said that the 12 by 12 had these in it, but I looked at a 12 by 12 and I didn't see a list where they actually listed the principles. So I think that maybe the conclusion comes from some of the wording somewhere in the 12 by 12 for each step, but each step is its own chapter. And so you, there's a lot of different things that you could come up with, I, I think out of the the lists. So ultimately, I think faith is a good is a good one and then we've got co uh, commitment is in, in this unknown list. So let's go ahead and look at this one just because I think it's going to be important for us to understand why there's some divergence here. Uh, so step three, made a decision to turn our will and our life over to the care of God. All right, we made a decision to turn our will and our life over to God. If you see, I'm putting surrender because this is the moment, at least in my recovery, made a decision to turn our lives and our wills over to the care of God. Surrender just seems, in my opinion, seems to be the one right here. Made a decision to turn our will in life. Now, this is also the moment where I think, I think what they're saying by having faith in here, I think this is the conclusion that people that are that are entering into this idea, maybe they were agnostic or they were atheist prior to, to their to coming to recovery. This is the moment where they actually say, hey, I'm entering into faith. But for me, I actually have, I've already been in, in the faith, I would say. Um, and as I've processed and worked the steps over and over again and made this a part of my life, um, this is not where my faith begins. This is where I surrendered, if that makes sense. And in my opinion, my, my faith is surrounding the entire the entire scope of the 12 steps. I don't think that the 12 steps really work um, without faith being like that center core of this entire process. But I'm not, I'm not going to argue against this. I think faith is a good virtue to have here. Uh, but what, as we move throughout the year, surrender is going to be our uh, principle that we're going to focus on in the month of March. Now, moving to step four, 
uh, for the month of April, we will be looking at courage uh, is the virtue for step four. And you can see that one's agreed. I really do agree with that. And um, they have honesty over here. Now that's interesting because honesty in our previous lists are the number one uh, list or the number one uh, step one principle one. And over here it's step four. So let's bring up step four real quick. Made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. I, I think honesty is is appropriate there. It's actually very appropriate. But also we've already got honesty. And I think that for those of us that have that have that are very familiar with the 12 steps that have made this not just a a step list that we go through, but we've really made these a part of our life. Um you'll you'll know that courage, it takes a lot of courage to do step four. So um I don't know what what that was. Um, step four. All right. Made a searching and for, uh, fearless moral inventory of ourselves. I'm going to tell you guys that takes so much courage to do that. That was, um, I'd been part of recovery, part of AA, things like that. Well before I had the courage to do step four. Now I'll tell you, you can do, you can wait as long as you want to do step four, or you can do it as fast as, as soon as you want. And there's immediate freedom behind step four. Once that courage there is going to launch you into the next level, um, of recovery. Step five, we will be addressing step five in May and also almost all the way across the board, but at least for the first three here, we have integrity. They seem to be in agreement here uh, for step five for integrity. That's admit to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. And I think truth is fine. I, I would just really go with uh, integrity uh, here. Also, step six, everything, all the way across the board. There were three of these that everyone aligned with, and that's willingness. So step number six that we will cover in June, we were entirely ready to have God rem remove all these defects of character. I, I recall a time where I was teaching a celebrate recovery lesson, and I started it off by reading the step saying, we were somewhat ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Uh, or you could even say we were almost ready to have God remove some of these defects of character. And I did that to emphasize the fact that it says entirely ready to remove all these defects of character. Uh, and so our conclusion is that there's a willingness. Willingness, guys, you know what? I would go as far to say that the number one, that the, the the, the, the virtue out of all of this, out of everything that we're talking about here, everyone, if I had to put one of these above all the other principles, I would say willingness. Because willingness, if you don't have willingness, nothing's going to work. If you don't have, if you don't have, in fact, you almost already have to have a willingness be, to become honest. You have to have willingness to have courage. You have to have willingness to have discipline. You have to have willingness to so willingness is just really so important but i do believe it's step six is the principle but if you can't get if you're, if you're not willing if you're not even gonna be willing it the whole thing's not even gonna work so willingness even if that means just willingness to show up right and even if you're white knuckling it i'm not against white knuckling it i'm just against stopping there right so if you have to white knuckle in recovery for a period of time white knuckle it. Uh, and then the adage goes, don't quit before the miracle. So those are all kinds of AA has like probably the most, um, the most cliches I've ever, I've ever experienced, but they're all true so far. Uh, in July, so step seven, principle seven in July, we'll be talking about humility. Let's look at step seven, humbly asked him. So that'd be God to remove some of our shortcomings. No, to remove them. Now, not maybe all of them at once. And there's going to be times where we're going to do, we're going to go through the steps over and over and over again. Maybe uh, I know that that people will in the AA community will say, hey, why don't you 12 step that? You know, and they're they're talking about other things besides alcohol. So in their life, they're, you know, they, they want to get rid of another addiction or they're like, hey, I want to quit smoking like I did with alcohol. And they go, so why don't you 12 step that? Right. Um, well, what that means is we're going to do this process again over another thing. 
I, I mean, I really believe that's like kind of all one thing. So I don't necessarily think that it's uh, productive to 12 step each thing. I think that just going through the 12 steps again, maybe is going to be the answer to that other addiction. Uh, because ultimately in an ultimate sense, whether it's food, alcohol, uh, pornography, or um, tobacco, or just whatever your thing is, meth, heroin, whatever, we're all trying to suppress the same thing with that. And I think what we tend to do is we tend to uh, make certain ones extremely bad, which some are a lot worse as far as severity. Um, but then we'll just back off to like, oh, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm not drinking, uh, but but I need tobacco. Uh, and so then we'll just use that as an excuse to hold on to it. So I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to judge anybody for for tobacco. I'm I have some ex, extensive clean time from tobacco, and I and I appreciate it. Uh, it was one of the hardest things it was in in my opinion it's it was harder than alcohol for me that's that's just the truth but now i've got like almost 10 months or something like that and i rarely think about it uh, every once in a while though if we'll be honest that will come up a little 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 uh little trigger or whatever okay so let's go to the next one now this is where none of them agree and yeah from from here on out every list is different now I I do know that mine have um, actually let's let's agree these two because they do agree there and all right so let's move to number eight I put accountability because I believe that love in the original list we'll just call this the original list even though there's not really any evidence or proof that we can call it that but let's just say that this is the Alcoholics Anonymous original list by Bill W. And we'll say that love is the eighth principle. Um, I disagree that if you're going to have love, that it would be here. I believe that it would be step 12. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But there certainly is an aspect of love in this. But then you can make the argument that there's an aspect of love in the whole thing. So I believe that, um, and let's read this. Let's read the, the step so I can show you what I mean. We made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Now, yes, the willing to make amends portion is where you see that love. But we made the list, right? So we now we, we made the list and that is an accounting action or that's an accounting activity. And so I'm putting accountability because we're literally accounting for the the wrongs that we have conducted in our life. And so I do believe that accountability is the right virtue or the right principle to establish here. Nothing wrong with love. If we just went with this list right here, wonderful. That's great. Um, on my channel though, and how I'm going to apply my recovery is I'm going to say step eight is where we become accountable and we account for our wrongdoings. Now that brings us then into step nine, which you'll notice that while we have, I'll just put this in a different color here so that we can recognize that. Um, and these, I guess, kind of half match. So we'll, we'll match those up a little bit there. So I've got responsibility. AA has discipline. Barefoot Bob says justice. And the unknown one says amendment. I'm not I'm just going to to say I'm ignorant on that one. I don't understand what that means. Maybe um maybe the word amendment in a previ in a in an earlier time period meant something different than what we think that it would mean. But let's um let's read this step and look at how so responsibility I think is going to make a lot of sense and I think discipline's going to make a lot of sense. Let's see if we can get justice out of step 9 made direct amends to such people wherever possible except when to do so would injure them or others. I, I just personally don't see justice in there. Um, I don't, because honestly, guys, if we got justice, then we'd all be in prison. So um, I'm not in prison <laughs> and you're not in prison. If you're Well, you might be watching this from prison. So, you know, if you are, we love you and I'm glad that you're able to watch uh, YouTube from prison, but justice is not 
necessarily what we want to see for ourselves, right? But um, discipline, let's see, could we come up with discipline? We may direct amends to people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. I'm not sure if I see discipline there, but I do see responsibility. I see, here's the progression. I see that we take accountability, right, in step eight. And then in step nine, we are responsible to that accountability. So we're accountable and responsible. And then that brings us to step number 10. We'll be touching that in October. Step 10, I'm going to look and see what we're, how we are in time. Oh, 22 minutes. The great. Perfect. Um, now, I have discipline for step 10 where they had discipline for step 9. Let's see if we get discipline out of 10. Continue to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. The reason I put discipline here is because it says continued, continued to take, dis uh, continue to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. It takes discipline to continue to do anything, right? You, if, if you're going to make a habit, a, a new habit, and you're going to replace that addiction with something new, it's going to take discipline. And I think that step 10 is where that discipline is going to need to be formed because step 10, 11, and 12 are really uh, arguably in themselves, in themselves, not necessarily a, a full step. In, in themselves, they're like a continuation of step one through nine. And so I believe that discipline is the, is the action there or the, the principle. But let's look and see, let's look at it again and see, do we get patience or perseverance out of, out of the step? Continue to take personal inventory. And when we were wrong, we promptly, we promptly admitted it. Patience. I'm not, I'm not seeing it, guys. Uh, perseverance. Continue to take personal inventory. I guess for the continue to take part, you see perseverance when we're wrong properly admitted. I just don't necessarily think perseverance is that step. Um, although you'll see that I have a portion of pers I have perseverance in 12. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain that when we get to step 12. But for step 10, I, I do. I really reflected on this. I'm like, discipline's just, it's the virtue. Um, because if, if we don't get disciplined by step 10, we're not going to be able to, to apply that to the rest of it. Now, step 11, we basically, I will, I will say all of them agree, even though there's two different words over here, awareness, spirituality, attunement. I think that's what we're not talking about atonement. Sorry. This is not the, the a Bible thing. Uh, it's attunement, not atonement. And I believe that means to be attuned, to be tuned in, you know, for lack of, I, I didn't even look up the word. I don't even know if it's a word, right? So I'm just assuming that attunement means that you're kind of tuned into the spiritual uh, radio station, if you will. Uh, but I'm going to say that, the, that awareness is the virtue or the principle. Um, spirituality is, in my opinion, not a principle or not a virtue. It's awareness is the spiritual uh, principle, Right spirituality is, is, is larger than that. It's actually a, it's a thing. It's not, um, a, I don't think it's a principle because <laughs> in, in, I think the entire 12 steps is spiritual, right? So I'm not going to ma make step 11 spirituality when I believe that the entire thing itself is like, is the, is spiritual. So now let's, that brings us to, to 12, step 12, um, and let's, let's first, let's read the, let's read the step. Having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to others. It says alcoholics here, but I'll say to others and to practice these principles in all our affairs. So the, the, these principles, so every step is basically principles, right? It, this this entire 12-step process is these principles. While we also have the list of principles, right? These principles. We try to carry this message to others and practice these principles in all our affairs. So I feel like step 12 is a lot more than service. And 
the pastor of my church, when they uh, they went through and developed a, um, they 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 went through and developed the a list that's very similar to mine, very, but it's different in a couple of places. And um, when when I get to the principle or the or the idea of having spiritual principles or the idea of having um, a virtue, I'm thinking a one word virtue or a one word principle. And I think that was the intent. Um, I, I do see that there's patience slash per- perseverance. And I think that Bill W would have likely had one word here. So I don't think that this is representative of the actual uh, original list. So I would be interested if anybody watches this video and you, um, and you, and you do know of a, an, of an official published list, send an email directly to me at info at positionstudios.com. I would love to have act, uh, to have that list. But I searched Google and I couldn't find it. But all the way back. Okay, so there, there is service. So I, I want service to be a part of this, right? And I want perseverance to be a part of this because I believe that it takes perseverance. This is where perseverance comes through. Having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to others and to practice these principles in all our affairs. This is a we don't stop, and it take and the persevering is is continuing. It's like it just keeps going. But for us to do that, it's gonna it's gonna be in this step, step twelve. So now I got perseverance, I've got service, and I've got love, all in this one step, and I can only use one word. And so when I I deeply reflected on this just literally yesterday in preparation for this video and in preparation for this year, I saw the word devotion is a synonym of all of these, right? So devotion, if we make devotion the spiritual principle here, within devotion is love, is perseverance, and is service. Because in your devotion to God in your devotion to to maintaining the 12 steps but not just for yourself but also for others that that love is in there right so i don't want to just be over spiritual and say well love we have to make one of the spiritual principles love no because the entire thing honestly is love like step 1 through 12 is love this this whole thing's a definition so if you want to put love in here what we do is we just go this is this the principles and we'll go like this, love, and then we'll make this entire thing, we'll merge that, we'll, uh, here, we'll do this, we'll go like that, and then we'll go like that, and then we'll go like 100, boom. Okay, so if you want a spiritual principle, over the whole thing, love. Because the entire thing's love. We don't have to have step 12, be love. Um, I don't think service is enough, right? I think devotion. But that's my opinion, guys. If you want to respond, just hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think. This is probably going to be the what you're going to see for videos generally. I think from time to time, I'll do a produced video video. Um, where you got like the little um, like infographs at the bottom of the screen and things like that. Um, but right now, if you appreciate what I'm doing here and you want to be part of the recovery community, share this video. That's probably the most important thing that you could do. I would really like to see people sharing the video to build a community that helps me out the best. There's also music. Um, I'm a composer. I compose music. You can search Jeremy Grogan on Pandora, um, Spotify, Google Music, Apple Music, and it looks like the music industry is just going to the streaming format, so you really don't have to pay anything. If you just listen to the music and you don't have to buy anything and you'll watch some ads if you're not paying for one of the services, then you'll be creating views and I get, I'll get i get paid for that. I've already made like $2 off of, I think I've got something like 200, uh, 200 to 500, somewhere in there, views. And they pay like, I think, um, two cents a view or something like that. I, I can't remember, but it takes a lot of them. So for me to make some significant money, I got to get a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, listens. If you are, I, I should have said listens, 
But also, you can buy shirts and merch. That helps us out a lot. And you can donate through Patreon. There's giving levels. And we're just getting started, guys, because we're in a new year. It's 2021. We all made it. The world didn't blow up. And our recovery, uh, I think in a previous video, I said our, co our recovery doesn't, um, doesn't care about politics. It doesn't care about all this stuff. Uh, the enemy is going to try to come in. Our addictions are going to try to come in against us when we're vulnerable, regardless of who's president and regardless of what our finances look like and regardless of all this other stuff. So the, we need to keep our eyes focused on, on our higher power, on God. For me, that's Jesus Christ. Um, and so stay, stay connected, stay tuned guys. And so thanks a lot guys for joining. Uh, until next time, remember many are called, but you are positioned.